I'm honored that you should come to me. Teresa, the millmaid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalis, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Oh, why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. They're good men, from Scalids. Basically your neighbors. You have to help them. That's God's own truth. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. I'm honored that you should come to me. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? 
Well, I'll think it over. The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two Groschen to rub together. Nah, yeah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, it depends what you're willing to do. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago, but we dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous, but it was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his hills for dust. <laughs> All the way to the Dechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. That's all I can think of.
I am at your service, Sir Knight. About that strange dream of yours. I knew you'd be interested. That dream. Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. And that's supposed to be me. Oh, who else? What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell me, who are you and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon. Providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. Nothing to it. But that's why God has sent you. So what do you say? <laughs> All right. I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. First, I need a tooth of St. Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery. And it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. 
It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition. And the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. Very well. I'll get it. This player's talisman, where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. Very well. I'll get you the paw. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. What are you here for? You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I'll buy it from you. You want to buy my cat paw? You're joking. No, I'm not. I'll buy it. How much do you want for it? <laughs> See? In the end, it brought me more luck than I thought. <laughs> Thanks. went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got, lad. 
One cat paw for luck. Marvellous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. That will be all for now. My pleasure. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. No, I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so.
I don't know. Isn't it a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. Ah, look. Jesus it's Christ. out. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. Wouldn't want to go through it again, though. <laughs> 